Hold on to your hats, folks, as we venture up to the craniovertebral joints. These joints are all about connecting the cranium, which is a fancy word for the skull, to the vertebral column, specifically the cervical segment comes in contact with the skull bone. Hence the two words put together become craniovertebral. We've got two VIP joints here, the atlanto-occipital joint and the atlanto-axial joint. The atlanto-occipital joint lets you nod your head in approval, while the atlanto-axial joint allows for those sassy head-shaking numbers. Quite the dynamic duo! Let me show you these two joints from a closer angle. Here you see the atlanto-occipital joint. The atlanto-occipital joint as the name suggested involves that occipital bone and the atlas that is C1 vertebrae. The occipital bone is a flat, curved bone located at the back of the skull. It forms the base of the skull and houses the foramen magnum, the large opening through which the spinal cord passes to connect to the brain. The atlas is the first cervical vertebra of the spine and sits just below the occipital bone. Unlike the other cervical vertebrae, the atlas lacks a vertebral body. Instead, it consists of an anterior arch, a posterior arch, and two articular facets that support the occipital condyles. Ligaments that stabilize and support the atlanto-occipital joint include the anterior atlanto-occipital membrane and posterior atlanto-occipital membrane. The anterior atlanto-occipital membrane. This ligament extends from the anterior arch of the atlas to the front margin of the foramen magnum, which is the large opening at the base of the skull. Composed of strong and dense fibers, it provides firm support and stability to the spine. It is continuous with the anterior longitudinal ligament, contributing to the overall stability of the spine. As for the posterior atlanto-occipital membrane, in contrast, this ligament is relatively thinner and forms a sheet of tissue that connects the posterior margin of the foramen magnum to the upper border of the posterior arch of the atlas. While thinner, it still provides essential support and helps limit excessive movements at the atlanto-occipital joints. Overall, the atlanto-occipital ligaments play a crucial role in supporting and limiting excessive movement in the atlanto-occipital joints, connecting the cranium to the first cervical vertebra, C1, also known as the atlas. What type of joint is it? The atlanto-occipital joint is a condyloid joint, also known as an ellipsoid joint. The rounded occipital condyles of the occipital bone articulate with the elliptical superior articular facets of the atlas, C1 vertebra, enabling nodding movements. The joint synovial fluid and capsule facilitate smooth movement and reduce friction between the articulating surfaces. So, we can say that the function of the atlanto-occipital joint is it allows movements such as flexion and extension. Flexion at the atlanto-occipital joint involves the chin moving towards the chest. This movement is essential for activities such as looking down, reading a book, or performing activities that require the head to be positioned downward. Extension at the atlanto-occipital joint occurs when the head is tilted back, with the chin pointing upwards. This movement is crucial for looking upwards, allowing us to gaze at objects above eye level and the sky. That is all about the atlanto-occipital joint. Now let's look at the second craniovertebral joint known as the atlanto-axial joint. 
The atlantoaxial joint is a crucial joint that facilitates the connection between the first two cervical vertebrae, the atlas, C1, and the axis, C2. Understanding the anatomy and function of the atlantoaxial joint is vital for comprehending the biomechanics of head and neck movement. If we look at the atlas, that is the C1 vertebra. As mentioned before, unlike the other cervical vertebrae, it lacks a vertebral body and instead consists of an anterior arch, a posterior arch, and two articular facets that support the occipital condyles. Its inferior facets articulate with the axis. As for the axis, that is the C2 vertebra. It has a distinctive bony process known as the dens or odontoid process, which projects superiorly from the vertebral body. The dens act as a pivot point for rotational movements of the head and neck. These two vertebral bones articulate to form the atlantoaxial joint. Several ligaments support and stabilize the atlantoaxial joint. These include the posterior atlantoaxial ligament, a broad yet thin ligament that attaches the posterior arch of the atlas to the laminae of the axis. Here is the are the cruciform ligaments of the atlas, which holds the dens in place and prevents it from moving excessively. Additionally, there are the alar ligaments, apical ligaments, and tectorial membrane of the atlas, which provide further stability and restrict excessive movement. Let's talk about what type of joint is the atlantoaxial joint. The atlantoaxial joint is a pivot joint between the atlas and axis vertebrae. This joint's design is crucial for precise movements like scanning the environment and tracking sounds or objects. The atlantoaxial joint is primarily responsible for two main movements, rotation and lateral flexion. The unique anatomy of the atlantoaxial joint allows for rotational movement between the atlas and the axis. The dens of the axis serves as a pivot point around which the atlas rotates. This rotation enables the head to turn from side to side, allowing us to look in different directions without moving our entire body. Lateral flexion refers to the side-to-side -side bending of the neck. The atlantoaxial joint contributes to this movement along with the other cervical vertebrae, allowing us to tilt our head to the left or right. In conclusion, the craniovertebral joints are a marvel of anatomical engineering, allowing us to perform a wide range of essential movements with our head while maintaining stability and protection for our central nervous system. Introducing Skydia.com on your mobile. Making medical education more accessible than ever. Your one-stop shop for medical learning now fits in your pocket. Visualize, understand, and master as one seamless process. Access exclusive courses on anatomy, physiology, and more, right from your phone. With intuitive navigation and engaging video content, your learning becomes enjoyable and effective. Get started with our free trial. An abundance of educational resources is now just a tap away. Download now the Skydia.com app from Google Play or the Apple App Store. Skydia.com Medical. Education at your fingertips.